It is resolved that public figures should be treated and penalized equally as law-abiding citizens in the state of California. Currently, there is an obvious injustice in the treatment of public figures. This issue is encouraging the breach of laws and devaluing the criminal justice system as a structure that was created to provide security and justice for all mankind. So who's to blame? The affirmative strongly believes that the status quo is to blame. Uh, cr contention 1. The criminal justice system is giving celebrities a pass. A. Rapper and icon Clifford Joseph Harris Jr., as you may know him as T.I., was sentenced to one year imprisonment after already being a convicted felon, was found with more than 12 pieces of illegal firearm, including silencers, machine guns, and other unregistered weapons, according to a report done by CNN Entertainment on October 13, 2007. A crime that would cost a normal civilian with no A-list privileges a minimum of five years in federal prison according to the State Bar of California. However, T.I. was released from jail in March, serving only seven of the 12 months he was given. No longer than six months after his release is he facing trouble with a law again. US to USA Today reported on September 2, 2010, that a sheriff pulled him over after smelling a strong odor of marijuana coming out of their Maybach at a traffic stop. After searching the vehicle, a small amount of ecstasy was found. B. T.I. is far from the first incident to slide by. Re Robin Sachs from Women in Crime stated on July 28, 2010, that Paris Hilton was sentenced to 45 days in jail in 2007, was released after four days. Lindsay Lohan was sentenced to four days in jail for a DUI, which would typically receive up to one year in jail, according to the State Bar of California, and was released after 84 minutes. Nicole Ritchie in 2007 was sentenced to four days in jail, but released after 82 minutes. Michelle Rodriguez in 2008 was arrested on possession of marijuana probation of DUI, and sentenced to 180 days in jail, and released after an astounding 17 minutes. A contention too, special treatment of celebrities is hurting our society. A, the 14th Amendment of the United States Constitution of America states that no state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the law. That goes to say that all citizens of America are given the right to be treated equally and fairly and justly as any other citizen in the, in the state of California especially. B. Uh, parts of the entertainment industry that are furnishing these lifestyles are at a great debt. Movies that are left abandoned because of reckless behavior from these actors, sponsors who come up short and are misrepresented by these celebrities who are out of control. According to popular media site HipHopZX.com, T.I. Reesing was paid thousands of dollars to do a one-night-only show for Axe Spray. After being indicted once again for violation of parole and drug charges, Axe is now concerned for the artist and is no longer interested in collaborating. He was, on, he was also the new face of Chevrolet and other major companies, he, but was dropped due to his constant criminal activity. How much more should we make these companies risk and continue to make the, their deficits larger when relying on these celebrities who are mere criminals in disguise? C. America's obsession with celebrities is a dangerous one. Allowing celebrities to get away with gun charges and drug charges implies that anyone could get away with it. When Paris Hilton was released from jail after a mere four days, she gave away cupcakes to paparazzi, according to Petra Heller of the Daily Telegraph on June 9, 2007. American pop culture expert Jake Halpern states, People who are less famous and less privileged, who are serving time for similar offenses, would undoubtedly not have received such lenient treatment. And obviously, they're not taking it seriously if she gives away cupcakes after being released from jail. Yet, it is occurring all around us. This lenience in popular media is jading what the criminal justice system stands for. Society is going to perpetuate celebrities because they are, in fact, role models. This criminal behavior is taken less seriously because celebrities are getting away with criminal behavior. How do we solve this problem? The U.S. government should create a tighter restriction on police and the courts and have trials supervised where if judges are too lenient, they are taken off the stand and the trial is revised, essentially being more aware of the injustice and correcting it. That leads me to contention three. Equal treatment is dire in the United States of America. A close friend of mine was arrested in California because one of his friends possessed marijuana in his vehicle. However, he took the blame for it and got sentenced to six months in prison for being a good friend. Michelle Rodriguez, however, arrested up to five times now and carrying over the federal weight of marijuana, was sentenced to 180 days, yet she only served 17 minutes. It is absurd and blasphemy that citizens of the United States are not being treated equally. Lastly, public figures will appreciate the quality of life and display that onto society, creating a healthy view of the criminal justice system, allowing citizens to feel safer and trust in the justice system more. 
For example, R&B singer Chris Brown was involved in a domestic violence crime, but after being sentenced to a fair six months of community service and probation, he has become quite an influence and has cap catapulted back where his career began, creating mentoring programs and anger management classes. Chris Brown has taken control of his destiny and all he needed was the proper and just punishment to change his attitude. This is wholly why you should agree that you should agree and mandate that public figures should be treated equally and penalized equally as law-abiding citizens in the state of California. Thank you. You discussed the T.I. case in your speech. Did you speak to Mr. T.I. personally about this matter, visit him in jail, or did you find out from the media? Um, I did research through a very reliable and credible source of media. Um, what source of media might that be? Um, CNN Entertainment, uh, MTV, VH1. You also discussed Paris Hilton in your speech as receiving special treatment. Did she receive that treatment due to the family fortune she has? No, she received this treatment because she's a public figure. You say celebrities make bad role models, but aren't there many public figures that are positive role models? Yes. Can you give me an example? Um, I'm sure there are plenty of celebrities that are positive role models, but the majority of them are negative role models. Okay. Public figures should not be treated and penalized equally to all citizens in the state of California. This is because public figures are the victims already. For example, public figures famous had negative effects on their family and social life. Scott Solomon, who represented Aaron and Nick Carter's both pop star's father, in family disputes made a comment to an article for the New York Times on March 20, 2005. He said, every time you have successful children, their fame and fortune are going to come into play, proving fame hurt their family and many other public figures' families as well. Another example is a parent dish, a parenting website under AOL. One of their writers, Alyssa Panitz, who has covered celebrity and entertainment news for over 20 years, commented on Lindsay Lohan's recent court activity. She said on July 7, 2010, Unfortunately for Lindsay, her parents are so obsessed with becoming celebrities and riding on their daughter's coattails, they have stopped doing their jobs and quit looking after her best interests, proving once again that fame has torn apart public figures' families and left the child with no one looking out for their best interests. Public figures are being punished in several ways already. Why do they need to be punished more? Uh, in response to Natasha's contention one, celebrities are not getting the so-called pass. Um, public figures are experiencing emotional distress and embarrassment due to their position in the public eye, which is another form of punishment. Gail Saltz, a psychiatrist who's been on top TV talk shows and radio programs on January 8, 2008, said, There's a stigma and shame to these things that cause some people to not get help, to feel embarrassed. Basically saying that public figures are unable to get the treatment for their problems due to their fear of embarrassment if the media were to find out about it. So they are certainly not getting this pass. Another great example of this is recently, on November 6, 2010, the Los Angeles Times reported on Disney star Demi Lovato. The issue of emotional distress and embarrassment became too much for Demi Lovato as she was forced to withdraw from her concert tour with the Jonas Brothers to seek help for emotional and physical issues. Those issues include the eating disorders and self-mutilation. The article used a quote from a former ch child actor, Paul Peterson, who is also the head of a nonprofit group that offers support for young performers. He said, you're going to see more of this, and it's going to become more and more obvious when discussing emotional stress for public figures, proving that celebrities are not going to be getting, excuse me, proving that celebrities are not getting any pass when it comes to their lives outside the courtroom. Uh, in response to Natasha's contention, too, Dr. Drew Pinsky, who specializes in celebrity rehab treatment, commented on Hollywood teens as role models on September 11, 2010. He said to focus on your own kids and talk to them about what they're watching out there. He is saying that media is to blame for celebrities' negative portrayal and parents should be doing their job to teach their kids right from wrong. It's the parents' job responsibility to monitor their kids, not the celebrities' job. They can't control their media image. As for celebrities being harmful to society, let's take a public figure such as Oprah. Oprah is a very charitable celebrity who is anything but destructive to society. For example, she has taken her whole staff and their families on a vacation, which the expenses were paid for. Um, she also opened a school in South Africa, and Nelson Mandela spoke at the opening of the school about Oprah's character. He said, this is not a distant donation, but one that lies close to your heart. 
This proves that there are celebrities who use their fame only for good and are positive role models for all Americans. Yeah. Therefore, there is no link between celebrities and the harm that's being caused in society. In response to Natasha's contention three, um, why should celebrities receive the same treatment in court when they don't outside of court? For example, public figures have to deal with the media creating false impressions of their image, while regular people don't. Lindsay Lohan's latest film director, Robert Rodriguez, recently commented on the situation of media creating false portrayals of her. He said when discussing Lindsay in an interview with MTV on August 26, 2010, she's awesome in the movie. That's what they'll see. The actress behind all the paparazzi nonsense that follows her and won't leave her alone. Proving that media is hurting her career, which a normal person living in California would not have the media hurting their career. Therefore, public figures and normal people are not treated equally. Ultimately, the affirmative plan would cause for the California court system to fail. Sandy Gibbons, a spokeswoman for the L.A. County District Attorney's Office, said on July 9, 2010 in the New York Times, the resources are being wasted by the media, not by the prosecutors. Basically saying court resources are being fully used on a few unique celebrity cases, and this is causing for the L.A. court system to lose money. This is causing for layoffs and more time to, um, to be spent on cele these celebrity cases. Natasha's plan would only cause for more time to be spent on cases furthering this pro existing problem uh, already. Okay. Ultimately, the affirmative plan would cause for the California court system to fail. Sandy Gibbons, a spokeswoman for the L.A. County District's Attorney's Office, said on July 9, 2010 in the New York Times, the resources are being wasted by the media, not by the prosecutors. Basically saying court, res court resources are being fully used on a few unique celebrity cases, and this is causing for the L.A. court system to lose money. Um, this is also causing for layoffs and more time to be spent on these celebrity cases. Natasha's plan would only cause for only more time to be spent on these cases, furthering this existing problem. Since most celebrities would be fighting the deals they are offered, as well as the vi this would be a violation of their constitutional rights. In conclusion, public figures should not receive equal treatment in courts in California because they are not treated the same outside of court and have several punishments to deal with already, such as media hurting their image and preventing them from getting the treatment they need. Also, it's the negative effects on their family and social life and mental health. Uh, ironically, it's the public figures who deserve a pass. Do you undergo any emotional distress? Sure. Are you given privileges in court because of this stress? Uh, I don't believe so. Um, may I see your uh, evidence card on the Lindsay Lohan? Uh, point that you made? Mm-hmm. Right here. That's interesting. It's right out there. Okay. So here it says that we have to look beyond the paparazzi. So are these celebrities not adults? Um, many of them are, well, in your examples, many of them are young. So you believe everyone is to blame but the celebrity? Um... Yes or no? Everyone is telling about the celebrity. Um, no, yeah, they're, they're handlers. There are other people involved with the celebrity. Their parents, their friends and family, all so are influenced. Who is to blame? Um, everyone influencing the celebrity plus the celebrity themselves. Okay. The negative stated that celebrities should get a pass because of the emotional distress they undergo. Everyone undergoes stress. It is a part of life. There needs to be a unionization of different methods to cope with this stress, not engage in reckless behavior, and then blame media. Also, there is no link. Also, that there is no link between the harms in society and celebrities. This is evident. Parents are not around their children the majority of the time to censor what they watch or listen to. The only cost that will be apparent is the actual use of the court systems. This will in turn save lives and provide justice. This just treatment of celebrities needs to start somewhere, whether inside or outside of the court, because it is utterly a problem that mustn't go on. The negative presents an unrealistic proposition, which is to adhere to the status quo, which is obviously not working. There is no plan. The negatives end. There is no plan on the negatives end, and this is a major flaw in his argument. To reiterate my proposition, public figures should be treated and penalized equally as law-abiding citizens in the state of California. My main points of which support the proposition are, contention one, the criminal justice system is giving celebrities a pass. Relentless criminals who pose as public figures such as T.I., Lindsay Lohan, Paris Hilton, and many more, all display the state of California's acceptance of criminal behavior from celebrities, which is not right and further posing a harm.
which leads to my second contention. Special treatment of celebrities is hurting our society. The 14th Amendment, which is a right that all U.S. citizens possess, clearly states that no state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States. The negative is pushing for a proposition that violates the rights of all upstanding American citizens. It is unrealistic and immoral to give preference over someone because of any specific talent that is apparently being abused. My third contention raised the point that equal treatment is dire in the USA. People need punishment, both fair and just, in order to learn lessons and grow as individuals or else they will continue to make the same mistakes. Just because a person is, is a celebrity does not make them inhumane. The fact that America is a country created upon equality is the sole, re is the sole reason why the affirmative should be implemented. Once again, public figures should not be treated and penalized equally to all citizens in the state of California. In your cross-examination, you said celebrities are adults and are capable of making their own decisions. I disagree with that statement. There are many people who surround the celebrity and are able to influence them in a negative or positive way. As I stated in my previous argument, many public figures, friends, and family have taken advantage of their fame. Another example with this is Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan herself was quoted in an E! Online article. She discussed her involvement in the show on Bravo, which was a commitment she took only to help her friends receive higher ratings for their new show. Lohan said after seeing the first episode, sucks when your friends use you for Bravo and their false representation of me on their new show. I was given the wrong call time, now I know on purpose. Another quote dealing with the situation comes from Lindsay's brother, Michael Lohan Jr., who was quoted in an article in People Magazine on September 29, 2010 issue. He said, it's quite strenuous to right your wrongs when the people around you help justify your actions, proving that the people surrounding Lindsay Lohan ultimately caused her negative actions since they were taking advantage of her for her fame, which is a pattern that many celebrities may find. Another point in your cross-examination is that since I experience emotional distress, I should receive special treatment in courts like the celebrities. However, I am not constantly being watched and reported on by the media. Charlie Sheen, who has had his share of trouble in the media, spoke about celebrities' media attention. He said it's not easy to begin with, but then you put it under the bright lights of the circus, it makes it much more difficult. Basically saying that celebrities have a hard time handling the media attention of their problems, which is something the normal California citizen does not have to deal with. Once again, proving that they do not deserve, uh, that they do deserve special treatment in the court system. Also, there can be many fake stories about celebrities released to the media that can hurt the public figure's self-esteem, causing them to experience more emotional distress and embarrassment. So basically, media would be making their problems worse, which any normal California citizen would not experience. Gabriel Snyder, who is the managing editor for a celebrity news and gossip blog, said in an interview with CNN on July 1, 2009, it's easier than ever to publish stuff, and as a human condition, is a complicated thing. Some people like to be responsible for starting something, proving that media is easy to manipulate and people can intentionally be malicious to hurt or worsen a celebrity's already bad emotional conditions. Once again, celebrities are not harmful to society. They are only helping it grow. For example, on December 1, 2010, world, the world, um, world, blah. for example, on December 1, 2010, World AIDS Day, Many celebrities, including Alicia Keys, Kim Kardashian, Serena Williams, and Ryan Seacrest, are going dead on social media, including Twitter and Facebook, and won't um, start writing until $1 million is raised for the Keep a Child Alive Foundation, which was founded by Alicia Keys, in order to prevent the spread of AIDS and HIV in Africa and India. Um, Lee Blake, who's the president of the foundation, said to Entertainment Weekly on November 28, 2010, I have a feeling Gaga is going to raise it all by herself, proving that celebrities are using their fame for good reasons and to only help the world grow, and that their involvement with this charity will ultimately help it succeed. Um, also, many celebrities have donated their personal belongings to charities that normal Americans can bid on. Um, ultimately, these types of auctions raise a lot of money. Um, for example, CharityBuzz.com, which is a whole online site um, dedicated to celebrity charity auctions, recently started its second annual Gifts That Give Back Twice holiday auction that features hundreds of once-in-a-lifetime celebrity and luxury experiences that benefit over 50 nonprofit organizations. Celebrities have also been involved with a campaign called It Gets Better, where they release YouTube videos with an anti-bullying message. Celebrities can tell their own stories that people can relate to. For example, actress Brittany Snow said, when I was in middle school and high school, she, uh, there was a girl who, used to, who was a bully who went as far as sending a note every day of a different way of how to kill myself which she said on November 16th, 2010, to a celebrity news site.
Natasha's plan to fix the supposed problems of the California court system would ultimately cause it to fail. Celebrities would continue to fight any charges brought against them, and they would hire the best attorneys they could to do so. Also, this new system would hurt the court financially, and that all of, all of its resources would be going to celebrity cases. So ultimately, her supposed fair system would be benefiting public figures, once again giving them special treatment they definitely deserve. Um, in conclusion, celebrities are the victims. Why should they be treated the same in court when they are not treated the same outside of court? I would just like to start by going through the flow of my argument once again to reiterate my points. Um, first of all, it is resolved that public figures should be treated and penalized equally as law-abiding citizens in the state of California. Um, the affirmative strongly believes that every citizen of the United States should be treated equally and fairly and justly. We go into contention one. The criminal justice system is giving celebrities a pass. We give Tia as an example who uh, was caught with over 12 pieces of illegal firearm and was only sentenced to one year, released, and back in jail now for uh, more felonies and more offenses. We go into contention two that... Um, it's hurting our society that these celebrities are receiving special treatment. And we go into the 14th Amendment of how the, 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 the Constitution of America states that all citizens should be receiving uh, the same and equal treatment. We go into how the entertainment industry is suffering from this. We go into how uh, society is also hurting because uh, these are role models that are... Uh, encouraging our kids to also breach these laws and which should not be right in contention three equal treatment is dire in the united states of america it's something that we uphold our our rights and and this is why people uh travel to the united states to live in the united states who raise their children in the united states on these uh foundations of argument uh so this is why you should strongly support our argument. Now, we go into arguments that the negative has made on how uh, the courts will be spending more money. The courts will not be spending more money because these are already people who are working for the courts. These are already people who are there. That We just need to enforce these laws more, which is not going to cost a dime, which is just going to enforce people to do their job primarily. Um, also... The fact that the negative states that he does, he goes through under he goes through emotional distress but doesn't go through the same condition as celebrity treatment that's not the fault of the United States of America. The United States of America states that if you are a human being living and breathing in the United States of America, you are inclined to equal rights uh, equal rights as as the next person next to you, no matter if they are a celebrity, no matter if they are the president of the United States of America. We we are all are supposed to receive equal treatment. Um, the negative points that uh, it is the parents' fault to supervise their children. Children are not with their parents 24-7, 365 days of the year. They spend more time in school. They spend more time with their friends. They spend more time in front of a television than they spend with their families. So the negative is not being realistic in their proposition. They don't have a plan. There's no link between uh, the fact that the courts are going to have to spend more money because we're not asking in our plan to raise more money. So we strongly advise you to uh, go for the affirmative and, and pass this bill that all citizens should be uh, inclined to receive equal rights, equal treatment, and, and, justice, and just process in the court of law. Thank you.